It could be just what you need right now. A website is now offering help for parents who need someone to look in on their children. Victoria Woodall has the story of virtual babysitting. Are you looking for a little extra help with the kids? Well, what if I told you there was a place where you could pick from thousands of babysitters to engage your little ones so you could have the extra time you need to focus on working from home or simply tackling that to-do list? You're telling me that there are 32,000 options for people around the globe for someone <laughs> to be able to help them out for an hour or two if they yeah. need it, if not more. Correct. There's no catch, aside from the fact that these babysitters sit by screen. Babysits is an online babysitting platform located in the Netherlands that connects parents to babysitters around the globe. A colleague of mine, she did virtual babysitting for someone in Singapore and someone in Ireland. It's currently being used in 38 countries by 1.5 million users. And while it started as a place for those in search of care providers who would come to their home, Babysit's community manager, Daniel, mentioned that COVID sparked more conversations and opportunities than ever for parents to consider remote babysitting. When people hear of remote babysitting, it might be a little confusing. Yeah, it sort of at first seems like a bit of a strange idea. Explaining it in a bit more in depth, remote babysitting is then yeah, helping educate, entertain, or yeah, in general, look after children via use of a video calling platform. A lot of kids are in front of screens throughout the day anyway. Instead of, let's say, they're watching yeah, a movie or on TikTok or things like that, it's more of a supervised screen time. Tell me how a parent could find the babysitter through babysits that's right for them. Babysitters will create their own profile and parents can do the same. And from there, reach out, contact the ones that yeah, are fitting their situation. The right. parents ha have it in their own hands. They know their children enough that yeah, they can make the right decision for them if they have the right information, which yeah, we try to provide. While newborns and babies aren't the best fit for this kind of care, for the big kids, it's an interesting option. You can provide the same exact support as you would if you were in person, such sure. as feeding or yeah, nurturing a child, but you can provide things such as education and yeah, other forms of entertainment. It's still possible to provide that yeah, virtually. Daniel also mentions that while you can access babysitter profiles right now for free, if you do find a babysitter you want to connect with, you will have to purchase a month subscription. After that, it's up to you and your new sitter to set your terms of payment. I'm Victoria Whittle for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Interesting concept. We'll be right back.